Wilfred Zaha calls for Arsenal transfer. Lads, I cannot lie, I do not know where this has come from. But today we are going to have a massive transfer update. Starting off with Crystal Palace winger Wilfred Zaha. With a video today surfacing of him pointing towards a Zaha to Arsenal sign. And even though being on holiday and in the club, he is begging to join the mighty Arsenal. As well as that, lads, we will also be discussing Willian who is close to joining Arsenal. As well as players like Matteo Guendouzi. So with that being said, guys. Guys, get your popcorn ready, get your snacks, your drinks, and get ready for a massive transfer video. So with that being said, guys, welcome back to my channel, and let's get straight into this, and let's discuss Zaha, Willian, and Matteo Gondidi, lads. Let's get into this. Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal, I don't have a clue where this has come from. Yo, what's on guys? My name is Bastos and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Of course, as always, before we get into the video, so make sure to go down there, smash a like on the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are very close to 14,000 and on to 15,000 as well. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on players like Wilfred Zaha and Willian. Follow all my social media and subscribe to the offsides. The links are in the description below. But with that being said, guys, let's get into this and let's start talking about our transfers FC. Starting off straight away with Wilfred Zaha. Because lads, we have had some massive developments. Because as I was about to film a completely different video, news broke onto social media and a video of Wilfred Zaha surfaced. And in this specific video, let's get it straight, Zaha is basically begging to join the Arsenal. And as you can see right now, I've got the video playing over the screen and yeah, it's literally Zaha pointing to a Zaha to Arsenal sign. And even though the guy is on holiday, he's at a club, it's clear to see he wants to leave Crystal Palace and the club that he wants to go to is Arsenal, their football club. He wants to come to the mighty Arsenal. Yes, Rawson he famously once said it's a different lock for Arsenal but it seems like we don't have to knock at players doors anymore they come to our door because make no mistake this is literally Wilfred Zaha almost begging calling for an Arsenal transfer but the question now really is towards Arsenal do they and if they do how badly do they want Wilfred Zaha that gets clearly on the player side of it he wants to come to Arsenal and very badly at that as well of course in terms of Zaha he was linked massively to after last summer and Arsenal even had two or three bids rejected for him but despite signing Pepe this year the reports are continuing and it seems like Arsenal's interest is still there as well. And even in terms of the Arsenal manager, Mikel Arteta, he's also said to be a massive fan of Wilfred Zaha. And make no mistake, your boy is also a very massive fan of Wilfred Zaha. Because what I see in Zaha is a game changer. He's a type of player, yes, he might not have the best end product numbers, but when it comes to just beating a man one on one, he is one of the best, if not the best, in the Premier League. And make no mistake, if Arsenal are the sign Wilfred Zaha, he could be a game changer going forwards. Because imagine you have Pep in one side and Zaha on the other. Lads, he is seen upon more scenes about even more beautiful scenes teams just simply won't be ready but Babs also at the same time let's be a bit realistic because with Arsenal closing into the signing of Willian it's going to be extremely hard to just get Zaha on that so much as I would love Zaha Arsenal the only way I can see happening is if we sell a player like Alexandre Lacazette or god forbid someone like Pierre Aubameyang but in terms of Aubameyang I think he will stay I think he'll sign that contract and I think Arsenal made it clear before that they are open to offers for Alexandre Lacazette and so in terms of the only realistic scenario I could potentially see happening is Lacazette leaves Arsenal and then Arsenal sign Wilfred Zaha as a replacement and with Aubameyang down to the middle and make no mistake a front three of Pepe, Aubameyang and Zaha lads even I'm scared of that I don't want to go near that but lads I'm going to give it to you guys in the comments below let me know your thoughts on the transfer and would you be happy with the potential of Lacazette leaving and Zaha replacing and let me know your thoughts in the comments below but yeah lads in terms of Wilfred Zaha I think it's very clear he is begging for an Arsenal transfer we are massive we are gargantuan let's move on to man like Willian because in terms of deals this is the closest to be completed. Now yes your boy is not the most excited for the steal but the matter of fact is William will very soon be an Arsenal player and he even confirmed that he will be leaving Chelsea today because he came on social media and put out an open letter for all the Chelsea fans where he's confirmed that he will not be staying at Chelsea and he will be leaving the club and make no mistake a lot of Chelsea fans are celebrating the fact that he's leaving and that has made a lot of Arsenal fans wonder is this a guy that Arsenal really need because with him being close to signing a three year contract with the Arsenal and even the reliable Fabrizio Romano saying a deal will be completed very soon. Let's face the fact, lads, whether you like it or not, Willian is going to be an Arsenal player. And this has caused a lot of Arsenal fans to give a lot of mixed reactions. Certain fans are happy with his transfer. They believe Willian will offer experience, a good player at wide, and a very good squad player as well. But certain fans are also massively against it and they are wondering why Arsenal are going to pay a guy who is 32 years of age or 100 grand a week and give him a three year contract as well. In terms of your boy's personal thoughts, I'm pretty mixed. On one side, I can see what Willian will offer Arsenal. He's a 
really good chance creator. But on the other hand, as well, signing a 32 year old winger isn't the most promising thing either. Especially when you have players like Wilfred Sahar begging to work in to join Arsenal Football Club. But yeah, lads, just once again over to you in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this potential transfer or William to the Arsenal. What are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on, lads, to Matteo Guendouzi. Yes, hello, Matteo Guendouzi. This guy still does play for the Arsenal. But it seems like not for that much longer. Because today reports have come out that PSG are interested in the French midfielder. And let's get straight, Arsenal most certainly want to sell this guy as well. Because ever since that infamous game against Brighton in the Premier League, that seems to be the end of Matteo Guendouzi's Arsenal career because he's not played a single game since then and he's not even been in the squad a single time either. He will 100% be leaving Arsenal come the end of the transfer window. And in terms of today, he's been linked heavily with a move to Paris Saint-Germain. But lads, I have got a bit of a proposition for you guys. Because what I can see is a potential swap deal here. Why can't Arsenal just go to Lyon and offer Guendouzi and in exchange get a player like Hassan Mawar and even offer a bit of money to sweeten the deal for them as well? Because he right now is no longer an Arsenal player, his loan has ended and he is back at Real Madrid. Because Real Madrid most certainly want the money right now, they want to sell Danny Spurs on a permanent deal. And so maybe we could see a situation where we sell Guendouzi and with that money buy Danny Spurs on a permanent deal. Would you be happy with that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But yeah, in terms of the Arsenal career of Matteo Guendouzi, ever since that Brighton game it looks like lads it is time to go it is over it's finito so also let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Matteo Guduzzi himself what do you think is gonna happen with him and how good do you think this guy could become at another club and finally let's talk about Ainsley Maitland Niles because this guy apparently could be leaving Arsenal and here is lads the club that he's been linked with is Tottenham Hotspur Ugh. Because yeah, reports have come out today in the media that Tottenham Hotspur are interested in signing Ainsley Maitland-Niles And Jose Mourinho apparently is an admirer of the English midfielder And some sources are even claiming it's not the fact that Arsenal want to sell Ainsley Maitland-Niles It's the fact that he wants to leave Arsenal Now if that is the case Ainsley, I understand that As much as I rate you a player, I understand that you want to play first in football And it makes a lot of sense But Tottenham Hotspur, now Ainsley, we are good bro And with him also being linked with the likes of Brighton of Albion that makes a lot more sense and it's a lot more bearable. But yeah, in the case of Matteo Guendouzi and Ainsley Maitland-Niles, I think it's very clear Arsenal want to sell and they want to make a bit of money and then use that money to sign other players. And that's where players like Thomas Partey could come in as well. Because yes, there are a lot of fans right now that believe this deal won't happen. I believe if Arsenal can sell the right players for the right price, we can then go out there and sign a player like Thomas Partey and bring him to the Emirates Stadium. But yeah, lads, in terms of the case of Ainsley Maitland-Niles, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on his potential transfer to Tottenham Hotspur. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. May I just say it has been a very weird day to be an Arsenal fan in the transfer window. But with that being said guys, I am going to end the video around there. Of course, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, so make sure to go down there, smash a like on the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are nearly at 14,000 subscribers already and we're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on players like Zaha, players like Willian, Azim Ennals and Matteo Guendouzi. Follow all my social media and subscribe to the offsides. The links are in the description below but with that being said guys we're gonna end it very there in the video today as we discuss Wilfred Zaha and him begging to join Arsenal William Deal getting closer A's mate and I was going to Tottenham and when Lucy going to PSG lads it has been an eventful day a weird day and I'll see you next time in a bit